All right, here we are, 28043 East Book Drive in Bonita Springs. There's the outside facade of the house. I'm gonna give a little pan down the street. You cannot see Bonita Beach Road. You cannot hear the cars. You're plenty insulated from that. There is no HOA association here. There are no dues. Um, and you got bigger lots. You got half acre lots in here, right? So you have a big, lot of separation, a lot of natural growth, a lot of natural trees in between the neighbors. You can see how much higher up this lot is in the one next to it okay you can see how much more how high much higher up on fill it is okay extremely high elevation to this house extremely high um you can see some of the neighbors really really nice homes on this street okay cul-de-sac is right there at the end you can see how much driveway you have to park onto and then it even has like an extra little bump out here on this side where my buddy's trailer is sitting right now. Okay, so you can fit a lot of cars on this driveway. And the next part, this paver part even goes down, down the side as well. You got a shed in there, that's where the shutters are right now. You got a propane tank sitting there that is not hooked up right now. Uh, that propane tank is for the lanterns that are on the deck that I'll show you that he was gonna hook up and never did. But you can put that in the backyard and, and use that for the, uh, for the lanterns. New coach lights out front, brand new 200 mile an hour rated garage door, okay? Brand new roof, okay? Brand new air conditioner, brand new exterior paint, okay? So this house, the bones of this house are new, 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 okay? Go in the front door. It's the laminate flooring that we kind of talked about. This probably needs to be replaced. Um, it's just, just a little older, a little beat up. It's not in terrible shape, but you'll see one little spot that definitely needs something to do with it. It's crown molding up here, under crown lighting, the rope light, got a nice little bay window out there. So kind of formal dining room and living room there. Sorry, let me get this light on. Got lots of cabinet space in this utility room, okay? It goes all the way to the ceiling, boom. Front load, washer, dryer nice granite piece to match the kitchen as well and you have more cabinet space floor to ceiling here as well so tons and tons of storage in this in this utility room um, the garage pretty straightforward on the garage you have an access door over there to the side of the house as well and all this stuff will be cleared out in here the workbench will stay i'm sure but that's the garage Kitchen, granite in the kitchen as well. Got enough space for eating kitchen there back in that corner. That's where they had it. That's why that light's there. Okay, stainless steel appliances, new Samsung uh, stove and dishwasher and fridge. I know they got those here in the last two or three years. Okay, pantry here, um, stairs that go up. There is storage underneath the stairs. Nice storage room. Okay, you can see tons of space and even goes back further in that little nook back in there. Okay, here's a spot where there was a built-in entertainment center. Remember, this house was built in 2002, so that's the time where they're still using picture tube TVs. It was kind of one of those like stucco pre precast uh, entertainment centers where there was a spot for a picture tube TV and bookshelves, and that got ripped out, and he flipped the TV around to that side, hence why um, that mountain is still there. Okay. Nice fans, got tons of can lights in the kitchen. Here's the guest bedroom downstairs. It's got a bathroom. They use this as kind of the baby's room. And then also there was an office in here as well. Okay, so that leads you right to outside on the deck. Really nice pavers, just need to do some roundup out here. So this whole part is under cover, right? This is about 10 by 30 probably under, under cover here. So you had a big outdoor sectional. And then as soon as you go past, that part is all screened in. And then obviously they'll have this whole pool and hot tub as well. That's all in one of those Aqualink systems. Got some really nice seats over there in the corner you can see uh, raised up over here. Really nice planters. Um, you got child fence here. You can see the pre-drills for it. If that's anything that concerns you, they did have a child. So they just took it out uh, for viewing purposes. Here's the deck that was built. Gorgeous, gorgeous deck. 20 by 40 deck, really nice railing, extremely well put together. Um, GC buddy of, of 
his helped him do it and you can see how private it is back here. Okay, the euca eucalyptus or the Eureka Palms, sorry, run all along the, that north side of the house. I mean, just beautiful back here. Old growth trees. There's Oak Creek back here. That's where um, she was asking if there's a flood zone. There has to be, it, it has to be in a flood zone because the creek runs back behind here. It is not navigable. You know, there's nobody coming up and down that creek. It's private, okay? And then private on this side as well. You can see it's got a little bit of a backyard to play with, but you know, not, not too much. Really cool how they cut in to leave that tree there. And then down that side of the house as well, private fence. The neighbor has a fence in there, so you don't really ever have to worry about them either. Okay. He had, just needs a little bit of mulching. Um, you can see the big the big lumbers they put in there underneath it so and these are the lanterns i was talking about so those two three and four so those are the propane gas lanterns i was talking about where the the tubing is run for underneath the deck where you can bring that propane tank uh out and set it in underneath there and use it he was just using like a one you use for a grill and just bringing it out each time but he planned on putting that one out there permanently and just never did it Here's the pre-drills you can see here for all the windows throughout the house. And then he's got this one here that is on, a, on electric. Okay, so there is, there is one that's electric. Go to the master. Master's got carpet, Berber carpet, plantation shutters. There's the under crown molding, nice light, big room. Okay, nice big room. His and her closet, smaller one on this side, bigger one over here. It's a full walk-in, goes up high, okay, bath, his and her sides, probably use a little updating in here, especially the flooring, there's that one hairline crack in the tile that runs through, um, so that needs to be done, nice shower, walk-in shower, glass door, dual sinks, okay. And then upstairs you have your two bedrooms and it's only bath, okay? So railing here to my right, walk up, make the turn. Sorry, it's a little dark up here right now, there we go. So you have a little nook here where they have this big monstrosity that probably shouldn't be there. You could have a little, a little reading, reading area or desk or you know, maybe even a little bit of a TV or a game room or something like that. Brand new AC, okay, whole system's brand new. Here's guest bedroom, number one upstairs. Again, plantation shutters. It's got a own closet. Basically, a little miniature walk-in closet there. Okay, and then on the opposite side of the hall is where you have your other bedroom, right? Plantation shutters again, that one faces the front of the house. Closet space. And then they got their bath. Similar to all what's downstairs in the other guest bath. Um, house is over 2,700 square feet, four bedrooms, three baths. It is in a great location just off of b 2 Beach Road, west of 75. Get to everything here in Bonita in no time flat. So I think that's it as far as the tour goes. Um, let me know if you have any questions about anything from what I've said, and we will uh, we'll go from there.